something. So, um, just looking at the x-ray spectrum, it's kind of like that. Black ink and, yeah, I hate to say it, it's like a dim, like that. Dim green x-ray spectrum. Because again, like when I was a kid, they give you these little cardboard glass, someone had them. And, um, and they said this, he, he, he like Superman. Like, uh, and, you know, somehow in the tablature of this cell phone, all things in the human condition, that they probably bring that all the way for it. It doesn't matter to me. I don't, I don't need to see past whatever else that I'm seeing. It's my thought in life. But it's there. It's in our IT architecture these days. Um, you're of the wood dragon in the... Zodiac in astrology it's it's um you're the wood dragon so in the wood cycle of elements so for my generation we were taught about deforestation and I look and I see um I've seen things happen um to the land that if you're just passing through and you don't sit and watch for a while you miss it. You just you don't you don't even see the cause and the reality of it. Um, one of them being highways and woods. Next to the highway, like it or not, woods become desiccated. They get junk on them from the petrol emissions. Like this is this has happened, and sadly, it, the woods are sick. You know, you see, think about the canopies that exist or don't regardless how how they were grown how how they happened how this happened how that it doesn't matter the earth and the sun know what's right and still i think as a human being and there are a lot of human beings with separate lives for me we all um like it or not we're the best the earth had for now we're the, we're really whether you're old, young, I'm 46 years old. They sent the best up. Okay. So sorry. I just like, I don't like you. But you're the best Earth had to give for this time in life. So it's you're the wood dragon. And there are four cardinal elements. Dragon is, to me, it's a titan. At the center of the Earth named Typhon. Okay. Many heads, many tails, a dragon. And in the thought in my head, our generation from young, old people of humanity that seem kind of even aware about things, we worry about that. Greenhouse emissions, what happened to this, that, and the other, in the forests, all deforestation, how, how on earth, well, it's not like, you know, only God of your own little religion. Here's the prayers and the wants and the needs of humanity. Patience is a great virtue to have. Just waiting for things to happen. And so I thought, that's what it's going to be. For this next, the, the dragon is a strange cycle to be in. Um, 1976 was the year of the dragon. And 2024, when the, the the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year happens, strangely enough, I was watching Channel 7 News in Detroit, and they're explaining, our groundhog is a woodchuck. Punxsutawney fills the groundhog. They're all the old Punxsutawney. They hold him up and do their thing with their top hats and all this. Ours is a woodchuck at the Howell Nature Center that's been there for a long time. Might have visited it as a child like I did. Anyway, over in Howell, Michigan, we have our Gordy Howe Woodchuck. Oh, 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 is that his name? No, it's Woody. Woodrow is the name of our woodchuck. Anyway, I was thinking, today is the Groundhog Day, and like it or not, we might get that early spring. It's been a while. I, like, I don't keep track of it. But it's starting to make sense to me astrologically. Because next week... Um, somewhere in there is the new moon that's the basis of the beginning of the new year in the month
month of February, even in the Claude Roman Julian calendar, it all is based on February, the month of the Furies. So, like it or not, that's why it's December, is the 10th month after the month of the Furies is December, D-I-X-10. Ends there, but then you have ending, finishing, new, beginning, and then in the new moon in February, the real synchronized calendar begins. Okay, so I uh, just learned this stuff like last year, thanks to the internet, having freedom of access to knowledge bases that I could never assimilate into my life without a computer. Um, like it or not, you know, my philosophy is I'm going to stay where I am and, and really just clean up myself, starting with me and my own apartment. You know, do what you have to and just, I think we'll make it through. And I'm not surprised. There's the end all be all. The year of the snake, a snake is known for shedding its skin and leaving many different you know, clothes, hand-me-downs everywhere, however you like it. That, that's 1977, that's 2025. However, you're the dragon. The earth responds to the woods. So, you know, hey, if the um, trees, here's another thing. If you have a septic field and you have, you know, your seeds growing as a tree trunk, out of your uh, septic field in the back of your, uh, in, in your backyard is a septic field, right? I mean, you're flushing it into the ecosystem, correct? Correct. A tree, this is it, this is the ground, this is the top of the tree. Think an hourglass, where's the floor of my septic field? Right there, right there is tie, a tree is always as high as it is low to the septic field. Whether the earth manufactured the septic field or, or you had it installed because that's the way you want it. There's a septic field growing just like you're a bird eating seeds and pooping them in the wilderness. Your septic field is growing what you pissed. <sighs> just saying. I mean, I didn't make it this way, right? And I don't like, I spent some time building houses, but minimal experience apprenticing in the trades, really. I'm just a general laborer there. Thought about it a long time. And I'm not surprised if up from the belly of the earth, puke goes healing for what we need either, like all creatures great and small. This is going to be a good one for those um, ecology people. That one that are shouting and angry and, and mad as hell and can't take it anymore. All these lobbyists have been there. So, you know, we said the same thing. You know, yeah. as soon as we found out about deforestation, we were hoping there'd be an answer. Teach you all some religion about that. This is sacred land. And the earth, um, like it or not, it sent us up. Whether you, you live, die, or missing a guy, and if he shows up, he goes, when did you think I died? Why'd you piss this on my grave? Why'd you piss on that? It just, you know, why'd you, why'd you empty that beer bottle on it? Like, who put that gravestone there? I'm not dead. Uh -huh. Come to see ya. That's why they say piss up a rope in Ireland. Really? Take a piss on my grave? I might just, you know, hmm. Drag up a rope and come out of the ground to see you. <laughs> anyway, I think people do pass away in this life. That's uh, neither here nor there. Don't want to meet you, is my point. And the strangest thing to me still is people are not who they say they are. They're actors kind of sliding in, sliding out, and moving on. If I knew who I was talking to even on Facebook tw 10 years ago when I quit the thing, I'm sure they've changed, right? And well, I, thankfully, I don't have to see anybody I knew in my past. It's just not what I like to do with my time. But I've renunciated family and friends, so that's just how I am. 
love my cat. That's about it. Bye.